Welcome back to the Mike Will Experiment, everybody. I am here today to bring you my Nintendo Weekly. Our first story is 100 free platinum points. 100 free platinum points, you say? Yes, I do. By the way, if you participated in the My Nintendo Mario missions, check your points history or just check your points jar. And if you keep pretty close track of it, you should see 100 points. This was reported to me by the small moments on our Discord. So shouts out to the small moments for this bit of information. The second thing I wanted to talk about was Zelda 35. I have seen a lot of speculation on the internet and from other YouTubers about what will be included in the Zelda 35th anniversary. Well, to answer your question, I think it's going to be something very similar to what they did with Mario, but I don't think it will be scaled up quite to that extent as far as the cross promotions with vendors. Um, I think we'll see more than just the Skyward Sword game released. I think we could see a Game & Watch. Um, I think we could see a pin set. Um, will we see a Cold Stone promotion and stuff like that? I don't know. Will they do Zelda missions? Maybe. I mean, they already have all of that infrastructure. Although, hopefully, they fix the DDoS attack issue that we were having with Mario Pinset 2. But, um, assuming they fix that, I think it's a great idea for them to do that. Um, so stay tuned to the channel for more information about Zelda 35th anniversary. And finally, before we go into our Club Nintendo highlights, I wanted to talk about a new direction for the channel. Now, I did start another channel called Mike Will RPG. Link in the description below. I'm not going to talk too much about it here, but what I mostly want to talk about is the fact that this channel is now only first party Nintendo games and collectibles in my Nintendo. That's it. So, you know, the voters have spoken with their views and we have moved this channel to those topics. I just wanted to cover that real quick. Now we're going to cover some great Club Nintendo Wayback Machine. Welcome back to another episode of Club Nintendo and the Wayback Machine inside of my Nintendo Weekly. I will do this on occasion when there just isn't maybe too much going on um, within the uh, my Nintendo space. So I was doing some digging and researching on club.nintendo.com. Um, and I was able to find a catalog of items, which is awesome. And I want to go through those with you now. Eventually, we will catalog all of Club Nintendo. Now, these pouches are pretty interesting. They're, I don't know. You feels like you put like a some golden doubloons in there or something or a bag of pirate treasure. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below, guys. What do you put in there? It's a good question. There was a Mario Red and like a, a Sky Blue. Very nice. Uh, some of this stuff we didn't look at because it's not like physical items. This is pretty cool. They're like little uh, Trapper Keeper folders um, for your papers or for school. And they have bookmarks included, which is also super neat. Um, and 250 gold points back then wasn't too bad either. That is kind of like a lower tier reward. Maybe think greeting cards from Christmas for Mario or maybe the uh, Paper Mario rewards. Here's another set. Pretty cool. This one is uh, Mario and Friends, which is pretty cool. Uh, this next one is the tote bag. Um, now, the tote bag I've actually seen on eBay. Um, they might have had that. This is probably one of the more common Club Nintendo items just because this one I do see quite a bit show up not infrequently on eBay. Um, so, very cool. This I've also seen on eBay. I was actually going to order one of these folders. They wanted like $7 for just one folder. But um, these are neat. I, this is my favorite of the items that are up here. I love these. Um, I like the more practical items too, like the ones that are coming up, but that's the coolest, like just paper type item that, that's available. I think there's also this really cool set of, uh, colored note cards that have like the references to the different eras of Nintendo systems. Um, so one color basically for each system 
and then um, it gives some information and facts about that. And those I think I have also seen on eBay, and they were kind of pricey, if I recall. But still a very cool item. Um, this next item, also cool. Again, it's in French. Uh, I believe those are uh, supposed to be greeting cards, yes. And then there's the fan. This is just a really random item. It wasn't based off of a game. Guys, if you know anything about this fan other than it just being cool, let me know in the comments below. I don't know why they were offering a fan. Was it? Was there a game that this was supposed to be referencing? Because it's not referenced in the post. So, I mean, hey, a fan is a useful thing, but it's just sort of out of place amongst all of these rewards. Here you can see some Nintendo Dogs and Nintendo Cats cards. I actually met the creator of Nintendo Dogs when I worked for GameStop. He showed me Nintendo Dogs, actually. He handed me the DS and said Nintendo Dogs. And I was like, cool. Um, so I've met I met the maker of Nintendo Dogs. Just a random story. Um and then uh Yes. What else do we have here? Ah, yes, the Kirby patch based off of Epic Yarn, which is also super neat. I've got a couple more items here. This was the uh, Terry Cloth set, towel set, which is, this would be really cool in a game room, honestly. I'll bet that's expensive. I haven't seen this on eBay. But I would wager it's pretty pricey. What's next here? This is the uh, the three posters set. We uh, we showed this in one of our fake out videos, I think. Um, and maybe it wasn't this poster set, but I've seen it. It might have been in our eBay video. I know I've seen them though. If I haven't, if they haven't put them in the video yet, there they are. This set has not been in the video yet, or the DS Lite case has not been in the video yet. But it's just really plain, so I don't know. You can't, the other thing with this Wayback Machine is you can't see the secondary photos. So you just really don't know. You only know what that first image looks like. Um, so that is another limitation to the Wayback Machine, unfortunately. These color, um, the connection is going to hold up here a bit. That's the problem with uh, some of these, uh, you know, Wayback Machine's big images. So it does take some time for it to load sometimes. Um, but this next one is basically straps for your DS. Now, they haven't done really anything like this for the Switch, but it's mostly because the Switch doesn't need it. I mean, I guess you could put them on um, the Joy-Con somehow, but um, yeah, I think there is a place for one on the Joy-Con, but that would be the only thing. Maybe they could do Joy-Con straps. I don't know. But this I just thought was a cool idea in general, um, just to give you something functional. I'm all about functional items from Club Nintendo that give color and tint and spice up regular everyday stuff that you're actually going to see and use. Um, what is this next one? Is the, oh yeah, Animal Crossing cards. Those are probably really expensive too, I'd imagine, even though they don't think they do anything. They're not NFC cards or anything. Um, but again, it's an Animal Crossing collectible, so it's going to do well. Mario Party playing cards. That's pretty cool. I haven't actually heard of those. Um, those are new. Here's a star tote bag. This is another one that's pretty common on eBay. Um, I mean, they're really expensive though. I, I wouldn't buy them, but, um, you know, unless you just see something you really like, then go for it. But honestly, this is more just to show off the history of it. Um, I mean, I don't know that I recommend trying to buy any of this stuff, but if you do, at least you'll have a reference to what they were initially costed for the points, um, and et cetera. And this is the Animal Crossing Club Nintendo DS case, which is awesome. This is probably my second favorite out of all of these. Um, I really, really like this reward. Um, and I really, really, really like um, the wrist straps. Um, I think those are my two favorite things out of this batch of... This catalog is what this is. Um, they called it the Club Nintendo catalog. Um you can see here, you can get an idea. It's just really hard to zoom in, and you can't click that second photo. It just doesn't work. Um, so, unfortunate. Car going in the background. Um, so, 
Yep. So that looks like the other DS case. Um, they they were these were quite popular. I don't they they did a couple of things like this, but they just really don't. They really haven't done a lot of like physical cartridge items this generation on my Nintendo. Which is odd, I guess maybe because the Switch is a hybrid system, they changed their thought process on the rewards. I don't I don't know. So how are food cards, the things that Nintendo started making back when they first started as a company? If you guys didn't know that, look up those on online. They're pretty cool. Game and Watch Collection. These were actual Nintendo DS games, which is awesome. Again, they're not really doing this. They're not giving you a special Switch game. Um, again, I think it's because they've elevated the price, right? They've elevated the price of these games, and they've elevated their their portables to now cost the same game wise as handhelds. So I feel like they they that's why you don't see this anymore because this is too valuable of something to offer just on my Nintendo. Now you could argue the pins are that way too, but the pins don't actually cost Nintendo that much, but they just have a high resale. And here's the game and watch collection two. These are available on eBay. They are expensive. Um you know, uh but you can get them as you can with this game and watch ball edition which is similar in styling to the Mario one that came out last year. Um, but this is also another really cool, probably the best... I hope you enjoyed my Nintendo Weekly with a dash of Club Nintendo. I'll see you all next Wednesday. I hope you guys are having a great day. Please consider donating on Patreon at patreon.com slash the Mike Will Experiment.